G'day, this is Michael. We're going to jump into some coin rolls right about now. So um, looking forward to this. All right, let's start with the 20s. Hopefully you've been having a great day and things have been going well for you. All right. Get the Damascus steel. Thanks, bro. My brother put this one together for me. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. But um, it's time to search. It's time to search the coins. Welcome aboard. Hopefully you've had a great day settling in for a, a nice Saturday night if you're in Australia, but if you're overseas, it's probably early in the day overseas. So, all right, these 1981s can be minted in Canada. And this one looks like it might be. So what you look for on that, um, it's called a three and a half claw. So these claws underneath the 20, if the left-hand one is half the size and that one is, that means it's minted in Canada. So there you go. So some prices on those. 1981 3.5 claw are $1.85 to $25. So if the coin's in really good condition, sort of mid 20s, cool. All right, so there's plenty of things to look for and uh, definitely be stopping if I find any of the things I'm looking for. G'day, Heather, how's it going? Hey, I appreciate the gift there. Thank you. Uh, M. Bracey became the number 25 member on the team. Ooh, what does that mean? I'm not too sure what that means. There's like the little comments that come across the screen and uh, I'm not too sure what that is. All right, 20 cent coins. 81, let's check to see if this one is a three and a half claw. It is <laughs> again. So this is another Canadian minted coin. That, that little claw there, it's half the size. So on a 1981, that means this coin was made in Canada for Australia. So that's two of them I found there tonight. They did make a fair few in Canada, so they made 50 million over there. So it's probably not that unlikely to find a few. Uh, it's like one in the morning here. Oh, I'm surprised I'm up. There you go. That is, uh, that is late, Heather. Yep. Morning, hope you're good. Good, thanks. Yeah, so what's the time here in Australia? It's just after 6 o'clock in the evening, so it's 6 p.m. So jumping on a live here. This one is a Canadian minted. I think it's a Canadian minted. Yeah, half the size, but this one's really dirty, so I'm going to let that one go. Hey, appreciate the gift there. Thank you. I like those um, little hearty type gifts. They're cool. All right, $1 coins. Let's jump in here. How much are the half claws worth? Between $1.85 and $25 is a recent selling price range. So, so if they're in good condition, definitely get up there. Let's say here, Michael became the number 26 member of the team. So is it like a heart team or something like that? Those little hearts that come up with the smiley faces on them. And it says, uh, became the number 26 member. Okay, so I'm not too sure what that means. Like, is it like, heart members for my streams and stuff. Don't really know what you do. I checked for these, these $1 coins here, look for little blobs of metal down the side of this kangaroo here, across the back of that top kangaroo, across the back of this second kangaroo, across the back of this one, yet yeah, doubling on the tail down here, Doubling on the feet. Yeah, thanks to the little taps of the screen too. I could see those little hearts coming across there too. Good morning from the UK. Good day, Jesse. What time is it in the UK at the moment? 6 p.m. at night time. Well, yeah, that's what p.m. is <laughs> um, in Australia where I'm from anyway. So um, do I need to order the rolls from the bank or can we just go in and ask for them over the counter? Yeah, just ask, just ask for coins, but you've got to go to banks that have that um, stock coin rolls. So not many banks stock coin rolls. Just gotta try and find those bank branches that do. Uh, it just depends on the individual branch. 9 a.m. in the UK, okay, cool. Brandon, I wasn't gonna make soup, but uh, then I saw you were live and now I'm going to make soup. Nice one. How much is the 50 cent coin with the windmill on it worth? Yeah, the 50 cent with the windmill, just looking on my list, it's a 2002 coin. $1.50 to $14.50 is a recent selling price range on those. Um, Valenia, is it Valenia? Hey mate, how's it going? G'day. Alex, big fan, very relaxing watching your videos. Appreciate that, Thanks, thank you Alex. Cool, thanks, nice. Cool design this one, they made a fair few of them though, so Unless they're in really good condition, I usually just let them go. <laughs> like that one there. Uh, good, thanks. Good luck. Come on, Mule. Yeah, $1 Mule would be 
sensational because um, I've never found one and they're highly collectible so hey, there's one of those little hearty type things again what is that little heart it says stamps sent a heart me hmm what's a heart me thank you it says you just reached stage two check out the cooler effect. What's the cooler effect? What's, the, what's this stage two? <laughs> what's going on TikTok? What's all these little heart me things and says I'm reaching stage two? Up the top near the name. All right, so I can't see the top of my screen because I have it in a little holder. Ah, okay, stage two. So I just, sorry, I just scroll out a bit here. It says, because yeah, I, when I look at my, when I do my lives, I have my phone in a little um, mount here and it clips in here. So I can't see the top of my screen, but yeah, it says stage two, 200 out of 500. Okay, nice whatever all that means, but um, cool. All right, let's get the camera back in position. Let's keep searching these dollar coins. Remember Wannable, nice one, nice one. Camera's a bit wonky, it's a bit better. G'day Michael, g'day John. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat. It's Valenia. It says people click on it each day. They level up, get new gifts and levels on your lives, creating a family. Ah, nice. Cool. The coin family. Hey, G for good A. Great Aussie Coin Hunt 2019. So some prices on these. Great Aussie Coin Hunt 2019s. $2.50 to $8. <clears throat> Excuse me. A um, couple of questions in the chat here. Hey, Michael, I just did teeth surgery. Oh, okay. I was under anesthesia and I woke up mumbling. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, well, it's nice and easy just to write on a on a TikTok live, and that's cool. I've got a 50-cent coin that has the national emblem shrunken on it, and it... You're talking about the... Might be the um, Incuse flag 50-cent coin millennium. Hey, thanks, Heather. Appreciate the gift. Lots of colour. Uh, coins 20221. I'm in Warren Ponds. Sorry for saying Warnable. Okay, yeah, Warren Ponds just around the corner. It's not, it's pretty close. Not too far away from me, which is cool because I'm in Ocean Grove in Victoria. So 250. So I'm up to 250 now with those little heart me things. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> That's the $1 coins. So, ooh, where do we go next? Let's do the 50s. 50s are just jumping out. That's a nice shiny 50 cent coin. Do you know how much the shrunken emblem is worth on the 50 cent coin? Yeah, the uh, incused flag 50 cent coin, um, it's a year 2000 coin, $28 to $70 each is a recent selling price range on those. It's a cool coin to find. I've got a rotated New Zealand $2 coin with a hold in it. Okay, cool, nice. I think you get $1 every for every heart, we can only send one a day. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, that's um, it's very kind of people who are <laughs> sending those then. Although it's probably TikTok that gets the $1 and TikTok might pass on a little bit, but uh, that's cool. Have you been to Newcastle? Yes, I've been to Newcastle a while ago, though. Australia, yeah, that's right. Newcastle, Australia. Yep. Alex got the trains 50 cent co uh, colored seven coin set, bought it for 170. Nice, nice. Darby White, I've got coins. Nice. That's the way. That's what we like coins. We'd like to try and find the rare coins because they're worth more coins than just the one coin it is. So that's what I'm chasing. 78, good year. I'm from Brisbane, Cameron, nice. Brizzy, Briz Vegas. All right, so we've got a changeover coin, this one here. It commemorates 50 years. You see 50 years down the bottom there. 50 years since Australia changed from pre-decimal currency to decimal currency. So these coins here are worth between $1.70 and $29 each. Um, so they need to be in good condition for those higher prices. This one's quite rough, but I'll still put it aside. Uh, what is there to look for out on the 50 cent coins? Oh, there's plenty to look for. These 2014s, you can get a little thing called a crop circle. In this little void over here, you can get a little circle type feature. So you look for that. 
On these ones here, you can get a bit of doubling down the back of the kangaroo, extra metal down the back of the kangaroo. It's called a Godzilla or a Ruzilla. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, there's plenty of other things too. I've got coin lists with all the things to look out for. They're available through the link in my TikTok account. So yeah, jump in there and check that out. Um, windmill design, this one here, it's sort of on the borderline of a rare coin. It's 11 and a half million of these coins we produced, but it's a little bit of a favorite. People sort of like it because it stands out. $1.50 to $14.50 is a recent selling price range on those. And uh, yes, heaps of things to look for. Finally found my first Marbo. Oh, hard to get in Perth. Yeah, okay. Marbo, they didn't make many Marbo coins. So only 1.4 million of them were made. So they are hard to find. But congratulations, that's awesome. Good find. All right, how about a little bit of intermission before we do these last three rolls. This coin, yeah, this one here. Available at the moment. So limited mintage on these. This is a one ounce silver proof coin. Australia's Tiger Shark. Um, comes in this cool little holder. But I thought I'd just show it here again. Queen Elizabeth. Oh, try and get it right focus. A little bit, a little bit chilly here, so it's a little bit fogging up. But uh, it's a cool coin that one. So if you're interested, through the link in my account, you can get through to that. Mm. Silver, nice. I saw the shark silver coin. I had to remind myself that I have a trip coming and want <laughs> spending money. That's right, you do, don't you? Saw that on your YouTube, I think. Yeah, that's right. I found my first error coin in Denmark. Nice one. Congratulations. Good stuff. People searching coins all over, all over the world. Nice. Blue Soldier, when I was six, I was in the rock pools and I found around 50 cent, but it has been 25 years. Yeah, they only um, made those in 1966, those so around 20, uh, around 50, sorry. So um, worth between $14 and $37 is a recent selling price range on those ones. 80% silver. So, very good coin to hold on to. So doing the tens at the moment, 10 cent coins. And uh, some of the years to look for, 1985s. 2011s, 1991s, 1997s. Uh, Tomo, hi, how's it going, big dog? I've got the painted 20 cent platypus coin from a set. Ah, oh, yeah. Is that about a 2000 and, ooh, was it a 2013 or 2014 mint set? It's got that, it's called a hyper metallic, I think, with a bit of color coming across it. That's cool. Brighty, how do you find out the prices of coins? Is there a website or something? I've got coin lists available that's got recent selling prices of a lot of the harder coins to find, the rarer coins and things like that. So they're available through the link in my account. But you can search them up on eBay. Jump on eBay and search up particular coins and filter your search to sold items to see what they've been selling for recently. And that gives you a bit of an idea. Oh, coolies, thanks. Just joined and new to this stuff. Yeah, for sure. We're all new at some stage. Where do you take the coins? Do you collect the cash Collect the cash in? Uh, just trying to understand. Um, to get the higher prices, you've got to sell them on to other coin collectors. So you can sell on places like eBay um, and coin collectors. You monitor that. You can. There's also some Facebook groups and things like that that you can sell coins. But yeah, eBay. Sometimes these 1966s can be a little bit rotated. Let's check this one. Georgie, how's it going? That might be just slightly rotated. Or maybe it's just the way I'm turning it. Because when I turn it back, it might be just slightly, she might be just up a little bit. She's supposed to be pointing to three o'clock. G'day Nelly, how's it going? Oh, I'll let it go. How much would a part silver 1977 1977 round 50 cent coin worth. I'm not too sure what that one is because the 977 um, 50 cent coins aren't round. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what coin that one is. Games and coins, how's it going? Andrew, I think, isn't it? 
You have to come to the next coin Geelong show. Yeah, might do that, might do that. <laughs> I'm usually, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just a, yeah, anyway. Uh, good, thanks. Nice games and coins. Cool, cool. All right, let's jump into this five cent roll. Fives. <laughs> oh, you know, just, um, yeah. Everyone's different, I suppose, aren't they? In, in how they sort of go about it. But, um, yeah, probably, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to sort of describe it. You'd be surprised how easy it is. I'm sure it'll be good, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. What time is it uh, are there? The time where I am, it's about it's about quarter past six, guys. I just have a look at my watch. Twenty past twenty past six PM. What does your current paper currency look like? Um in Australia our banknotes are actually polymer, which is like a plastic. So um I haven't got I've got one sort of sitting here. Actually, I've got one that's a pick I got the other day from through an auction. This one's actually a graded banknote. So they're they're polymer like this. This is what the first um plastic banknotes that were sort of produced, the five dollar ones anyway, the five dollar notes. And this one here is actually a pale green serial number. So in the, the Renix Australian coin and banknote values book this banknote's valued at one hundred and ten dollars in in perfect condition, and because this one's um, been graded by PCGS, uh, Professional Coin Grading Service, yeah, in gem un gem uncirculated condition, it might be worth a little bit more than that. So I've actually got two in a row, but um, that's what our banknotes sort of look like, roughly like that anyway. U.S. currency. Yeah, I've got a few U.S. Um, banknotes. I sort of like the bank, the U.S. banknotes. I like the fact that the U.S. banknotes go back like a long time ago, <laughs> um, into the early 1900s, and I don't know if they go earlier than that, but um, I reckon that's pretty cool. So the um, the our current circulating banknotes probably back to about the early 90s when they started doing the the plastic banknotes, and that's what's in circulation at the moment. All right, this one's a New Zealand five-cent coin, 1986. I'll hold on to any foreign coin, so that's cool. Kyle, how's it going? Kyle Forch, how's things going over in the US? Or is it you in Canada or the US? You're usually in Austin, I think. But um, have you got a Captain James Cook rodent? <laughs> what's the, no, I don't know what that is. I've got some Captain Cook coins, but... Yeah. How are you, Michael? Good, thanks, Marius. Good, thanks. Good. Cruising along, went for a bit of a wander today in the Ocean Grove Nature Reserve. A bit of a walk, get out. I went to Bunnings Warehouse, <laughs> picked up a few things. Uh, you know, fun fact, I've never had a sausage from the Bunnings <laughs> Sausage Sizzle, which sounds a bit uh, crazy because it, it sounds like most people do, but never have one walk past it today. But oh, 2015, check for the missing SD, which is at the bottom of the five, below the five. But the SD is there, but I sometimes missing on those 2015, so that's a bit of an error. Uh, but so to, hey, Michael, last question. My grandpa had a $1 bill. He passed it on to my dad. Awesome. Yeah, the $1 banknotes, they're cool. I like those. Do you have any of the 1988 $1 coins on your list? 1988. Um, I don't think I do at the moment because I've sort of adjusted my lists, my coin lists a little bit to just more focus on the lower mintage coins. And those 1988 $1 coins are a little bit higher mintage. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, sausage and bread. Nelly, thank you. <laughs> and it's not, I've got nothing against sausages and bread. <laughs> I like sausages and I like bread and all that sort of stuff. But um, uh, I've just never, had, never, never bought one from... Uh, Sausage sizzle at uh, uh, Bunnings. Sean, do you have any 1988 $1 coins on your list? Oh, I've just answered that one. 
Uh, the Pirates book says there were none made that year. The 1988, 1988 Wonderlook coins, they made... I had one just before. It's got the kangaroo. It's got the kangaroos, indigenous type... Um, indigenous type of uh, design on it. So, um, yes, yeah, so they made plenty of those. They, they probably didn't make any with the kangaroos on it. Maybe that's what it's referring to. Nathan, do you think the AFL coins, sorry, will be worth something one day? I really don't know. It's funny, like I am um, one of the main reasons I bought it just to try my luck with trying to get the coloured, the coloured coin. But it's good to have a set of coins too, like a set of something. So I bought two sets because I got two boys. All right, we'll, we'll count up the HH coins as well as we go on this. They're high mintage, but we're just out of interest sakes. Here we go. One. 2022. There's another HH2. Three. Oh, four. That's a hat trick. That's three in a row. Three HH coins in a row. Oh, and for those people who are not sure what I'm banging on about, there's another one. That's four in a row. So the HH Horst Hahn, the designer of this side of the coin, it was only on the 1988 and 1989 coins, but they made tons of them. So oh, it's just out of interest sakes. So I just um, count up how many and I put them in the bag afterwards. Uh, do you have a Captain James Cook 50 cent coin? Yes, I do. Yeah, I got a few of those. How much are the Great Aussie Coin Hunt 2022s worth? Um, between... Three to five dollars each. Four plus, yeah, you're right. RS four plus is correct because we're at five at the moment. Ooh, that coin is very, very rough. Just trying to. That's a year two thousand. That's a bit of a rarer coin, but in that condition. It's not going to make the cut into my collection, unfortunately. Jacob, is the Captain Cook rare or common? It's a bit more common. They made 16.5 million of them. Um, some recent selling prices on them, $1.50 to $15, but um, they made a fair few. Are the 1977 Jubilee 50 cent coins still worth anything? Because I found two clearing old stuff. They made a lot of them. They made 25 million of those Silver Jubilee 50 cent coins in 77. But they're a bit of a favourite. A recent selling price range, $2 to $55 is a recent selling price range. But um, tough sell because there's so many of them. So the really high price would be one in perfect condition, maybe even graded. But um, yeah. All right. So from that roll, we didn't find any coloured coins or any low mintage dates. But we did find lots of these HHs. So um, five HH coins. We found one, two, three, four five there we go megan edward how's it going all right so that's the that was the last little roll there what else can i share i can share this actually got a couple of these things the other day um these are my first graded coins i, I didn't send these off to get graded i sort of picked them up at an auction but ms68 mint state 68 is the grading quality of this crux coin so I was just throwing in bids on things <laughs> just randomly. And then I, it's one of those online auctions where you, you put bids in and then they end at whatever time. But I just sort of put in a bid of how much I'd be willing to sort of pay for them. But I like these changeover coins, the $1 changeover coin. This is an MS66, Mint State 66 grading on this one here. But um, it's cool to have some graded coins. The kangaroos, nice. But um, yeah, my first couple of uh, graded coins, which is pretty cool. Bit of show and tell. How much is a $2 dubbed ring? Uh, I'm not too sure which one you're talking about. That. Make sure you register them on. So what do you mean register them on PCGS? What do you mean register them? So you put them, you jump on PCGS and go, yep, yeah, this is my coin. Or yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that at some stage. Um, but she yeah, also picked up this coin, which I was pretty pumped about too. It's a little bit more niche -y type type of thing. This is a token, an 1811 token, Rose Copper Company. It's from Birmingham. Birmingham and Swansea, one penny. So this is a British coin. Rose Copper Company token. 
and it's got a cool sort of um I'm not sure what you call the edge but um yeah it's cool mm. so I got that one at an auction as well so it's a little bit larger than a 50 cent coin a little bit thicker but um yeah pretty pumped with that as well so that's sitting on my desk here I can appreciate that along with my other my other large coin here this one here my 1797 two pence coin similar sort of vintage 1797 and 1811 not too far apart um how much is a two dollar double ring 2001 if it's a probably a partial double ring you're talking about there um it adds a little bit of value but there's not many collectors collecting partial double rims so yeah maybe a couple of dollars over a few dollars over i haven't sort of checked the recent selling prices on those sorts of things but yeah, it doesn't add as much value as you th you might think yeah so here's a few things that i put aside 1981 three and a half claw 20 cent coins found two of those got the um change over 50 cent coin put that one aside we got the g'day one dollar coin Great Aussie Coin Hunt 2019. Cool. Appreciate the gifts there. Thanks. And the snags. <laughs> Thanks, Nelly. Oh, so someone gave a little chest. Was that Nelly or <laughs> was that? Thank you for that. So I think you can jump into the chest and give little gifts. So thank you, whoever did that. Um, very kind. And thank you for all those people who are doing, giving some little gifts out there. Nice. Sometimes these ones can be a little bit rotated. I think it's the 1991s. Or is it 1999 five cent coins from New Zealand? I think they can be rotated. So keep an eye out for those. I've got a windmill one as well. Windmill coin. I found that little one a little while ago too. So there you go. There you go. All right. I'll check a few comments out and then um, we'll see what's going on. Do you know how much the round 50 cent would sell for depends on the condition but a recent selling price range on the round 50s $14.50 to $37 how much is the 2018 100 armistice $2 coin um so was it again the how much is the 2018 armistice just having a look at my list $10 to $29 each is a recent selling price range do you know how much the 2016 Aussie Olympic team purple $2 coin? The 2016 Olympic coins, purple. They had a blue, black, red, yellow, and green. Um, $4 to $8 each on those any of those Olympic colored coins from 2016. Any Kruger rands? No, I haven't got any of those. Tyson, I found a 1898 penny in my garden. Any idea what it's worth? Not as much as you might think, but I, I don't know specifically that particular year, but pennies and half pennies, that'll be a UK UK coin because Australia didn't start producing pennies and half pennies until about 1911 or 1910. So, um, yeah, probably a couple of dollars each, depending on the condition. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Good day, Cameron. Uh, check if you my favourite live. Nice one. Thank you. That's very nice of you, Sierra. Is it Sierra? Kiara, that's probably it. Um, Tomo, what are you had a gap error? Sorry, what are you had a gap error? Sorry, I'm not sure what the question is there, Tomo. Um, yeah. Nikki, I would love to show my collection to you. Nice. Yeah, have you got a little, have you got an account or something? Maybe I should follow along, Nikki. And if you've got a TikTok account, I could probably I'll follow. And then you could probably, I don't know if you make a video, you can make a little video of your collection. I can check it out. Tag minute or something like that. Tomo, I a twenty cent had a gap error. Oh, I mean like a two thousand and eight. Like in the ones I searched, um, or you're talking about in your own. Yeah, the two thousand and eight wave gap. Um, some prices on those two dollars eighty to seven dollars is a recent selling price range on those. Alex found a two thousand and six twenty cent with the fourth claw missing. Oh, okay, nice, nice, cool. Um, all right then. Well. I might sort of wrap things up in a moment. So I'll check a few more questions and comments and then I'll we'll sort of see how we go. Hello, I have a green dove $2 coin. What would it be worth? Thank you. Um, good manners, nice. So the green the green remembrance dove coins, 2014, $20 to $130. That's the price range. So it depends on the condition of it. Um, if it's in really good condition, yeah, it get, gets up there a bit in value. But um, yeah, that's the... The recent selling price range. 
Stubbles put a redback dollar through the car wash today. Should I have kept it? Oh, they're, they're not worth as much, but um, they're from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt. I'm assuming it's from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt. and But usually between about, say, $3 and $8 or something like that for the Great Aussie Coin Hunt coins, depending on which year it is. Yeah. Found a 1922 penny. How much would it be worth? Probably usually a couple of dollars each, pennies and half pennies. Yeah. But if they're in really good condition, they can get up there in value. Yep. Gary, do you have a 1920 square cock kookaburra penny? No, I don't. No. Do you have one of those, Gary? Um, is it AI? I will do this for you in the future. <laughs> no, I'll take care of it myself. But AI might have the ability to do something like that. But I'll, uh, I'll look at my own coins. Rian, hey, Michael, how are you tonight? Good, thank you. Good. Just about to finish up, actually. Phoenix, I have a Matthew Flinders coin. It has the two people on it. Nice, yeah. Bass and Flinders, yeah. What's your favourite coin for price? And sorry, what's that? What's your favourite coin for price and not price? Oh, good question. But yeah, I don't really know. Like I, I like all sorts of different coins for all sorts of different reasons. So yeah, I don't really have favourites um, in that regard. But some one coin that I sort of keep coming back to. People ask me what's one of my favourite coins, and it's probably maybe this one here. It's a this is a two pence coin, a 1797. So it's a couple of hundred years old, really thick, chunky number. Um, one of the first sorts of coins used in Australia, brought over to Australia and sort of used in Australia. But um, yeah, big, heavy, like 50 cent coins are pretty big, but that's about two to three times as thick as a 50 cent coin and a bit larger again. So it's the largest coin Britain has produced for circulation. Or did produce for circulation because <laughs> imagine getting around with a few of those in your pocket it'd be pretty tough so that's one of my favorites yeah cool all right then i'm gonna sort of skedaddle and keep going with on with the night but um hopefully you will have a great night and if you're searching for coins hopefully you'll find some cool coins and um appreciate everyone jumping on with the comments and the questions and all that sort of stuff so um yeah, i've also actually just put out a little video on some banknotes that I've got available too. So if you're interested in any of those um, older paper style banknotes and um, picking up a few of those, just email me on the email address on the screen of that video. And uh, yeah, go from there. Cool. All right. Have a great night, everyone. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. All right. See ya.